Everyone at Ready Grant Associates, appreciate your business, sir. Well, not as much as I appreciate my business. I promise you. Okay. Yeah. Just sign there. Great. Your personal items? Yes? You only needed four stamps. Oh, well, guess I could afford the extra 50 cents. <laughs> um, I don't think this is my stuff. It's not? No. <laughs> I, I don't know what happened. Uh, it's all right. Don't worry about it. Um, doesn't matter. Let's talk about my shares. Um, what I'd like to do is get some money now, <laughs> and you know, put the rest away for long term, and you know, to live off. So how do we how do we do that? Mr. Jennings, you forfeited your shares. I beg your pardon. <laughs> what? Yeah. Uh, here. Uh, dated. Uh, Four weeks ago. You surrendered the shares and stated to deliver only the envelope of personals. Don't you remember doing that, sir? No. I don't remember that. Because I, I didn't do that. Why would I do that? I wouldn't do that. It doesn't make sense. It's, it's, <laughs> this is uh, <clears throat> a mistake has been made. And it needs to be corrected. Well, I agree. It's a strange thing you did, but legal... Not strange. Strange is, you know, a little out of the ordinary, but still plausible. Giving away $100 million in shares in a Fortune 500 company for some uh, knickknacks isn't strange. It's uh, insane. No one would do that. This doesn't make sense. I mean, unless you think uh, this is a $40 million can of hairspray, uh, which is pink. And, and, uh, and uh, you know, what, this is a $100 million book of matches? I mean, you know, I've been a lot of it for a couple of years. I don't know, is this back in style now? Is this, are these $100 million sunglasses? Am I missing something? <laughs> Okay, I'll look into it, but it's gonna take me some time. This is crazy, so I'm gonna make some phone calls. Okay.